Hey, what are you doing, Captain I'm Dan? cutting up a deer that I shot last Sunday. I'm making it into meal-sized pieces. These pieces here are the front shoulders, and they're going to be cut into three pieces. There's going to be a pot roast from the blade part of it, a pot roast from what I call the arm part of it, and then these down here, these are, would be the lamb shanks that you'd make osobuku out of, or braised lamb shanks, whatever you want to call it. And that is your lovely wife's hands who are coming in. But uh, picking, her... picking pieces of hair off because <laughs> I didn't skin it real clean, so okay. there's hair that's got to come off of it. And what kind of deer is this? This is a Sitka black tail deer, a small buck. So not a teeny buck, but not a big one, obviously. So okay. he'd have been a real dandy in a couple of years. <laughs> and so how old, when you say a small buck, about how old is Well, this deer was probably 18 months old. Okay. So he wasn't this year's fawn, but probably last year's fawn. And what are you planning to do next now? Well, I'm just trimming meat now to uh, put into the pile to make sausage out of, trimming stuff off of the fat. So this is this is going into into a bag for later use to get mixed with some pork butt and make various flavors of sausage from anything from uh, hot boudin to hot Italian sausage, country sausage, uh, chorizo. The way to go. <laughs> so Eve is holding the saw the that meat you're going to be using. Yep. Next. And are you going to fire up the saw now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this for him. Okay. All right. Just want to this up off of there. Yep. Ready? Yep. Easy. Okay. Okay. I got it. Go. Okay. Knife. Oh, look at that. And this piece is going to be another pot roast. This is the uh, neck of the deer. Mm -mm -mm. Lower part of the neck. Trim, I'll trim some more fat off of it and get the bone fragments and we'll just freeze that whole and it'll go in a slow cooker for either pot roast or if you cook it down far enough and shred it, it makes great chili. And what happened here? That was where I shot it. That's the bullet hole. That, that was is, the cause of death. <laughs> that is not something that you normally see at the grocery store. Uh, no. And so, no. And so for all of those people who have like those little uh, creme brulee um, burners, this is the next... Uh, this is the next hot kitchen tool is the uh, <laughs> DeWalt bone saw. Yeah, there you go. All right, terrific. And we, we were, <laughs> you know, I've used them for, to cut the ribs out of deer before, and we've used them to cut moose up with the ribs and everything. And But the the bull, the moose that I killed, the antlers that are hanging over the porch door there, these guys showed up to help dress it, and one guy brings us cordless saws all out to cut the legs off and cut the brisket open and open it up. <laughs> All right, and can I, Eve, can I get you on camera? Sure. All right, and so, oh, I'm going to trip over myself back over here. Over yeah, exactly. And so Eve, who is also a formidable hunter herself, what do you like to have from, um, what do you like to make from the deer? What, what do you, what do we, what do you like to eat? All of it. All of it. Okay. I, I prefer, if it's a steak, I prefer my meat pretty well done, just because chewing it, um, I'm not a rare person, so that's how I like it. I definitely like stews because you get the veggies going and you know one-stop shop great and it makes great leftovers i guess awesome. all right at the martin sportsman's lodge dan and eve martin alaskan sports people extraordinaire thank you so much for letting us in